Hey, what's up everyone? Sonic here. Excited to be with you all for our fourth ever Twitter takeover. You can ask me any questions you've... Oh, sorry, one sec. Yeah, hello? Oh, Tails! Hey, Sonic! I heard you were doing that Twitter thing again. Can I join this time? Of course! You, uh, you didn't invite Nupples, though, right? Nah, uh, just me, but, uh, I think Eggman was actually waiting outside. Surprise! <sighs> you didn't think you could host another one of these without me around, did you, Sonic? Oh, and I brought a friend! I'm still not your friend, Doctor. I just felt this Twitter takeover could use a little help from the ultimate life form. Ah, well, it's a bit crowded in here now, but we'll make this work. Tweet us your questions today on Twitter with the hashtag AskSonic, and you might get a special response from us. Wait, why is it hashtag AskSonic? I think it should be hashtag AskShadow. Or hashtag AskEggman. I do have a PhD. Or hashtag AskTails. I know all sorts of stuff. Guys, guys, really guys, smart. guys. It's just, it's just... Hashtag Ask Sonic, okay? You can all answer, don't worry. Uh, the answer is no time. Hashtag is not gonna come in. So send us your questions here on Twitter for the next six hours, and you might get a response from us. Until then, see ya! <laughs> it really should be Hashtag Ask Shadow. Let's see. Here's a question from SonicGuy001. He says, Tails, what's the greatest thing you've ever invented? Oh, the greatest thing I've ever invented? Oh man, but there's so many! Uh, maybe the tornado? No, no, maybe Miles Electric? Miles Electric? Oh, that little translator pad you keep with you? Yeah, or wait, I know, maybe the Sea Fox. None of these are really that impressive in my opinion. I've never even heard of the Sea Fox. Oh, right, uh, we hadn't really met you yet. Yeah, Game Gear days, my dude. Tails is responsible for the death of so many batteries. Thanks for your question, Sonic Guy. Between us, I hope my best invention is yet to come. Tassini Kuchai asks, if I pronounce that name wrong, change it. Anyway, they ask, Eggman, do you have any hobbies? If so, what are they? Huh. <laughs> this should be good. Ooh, I like this one. Let's see, my hobbies include long walks on the beach, creating robot armies, and oh, of course, conquering the entire planet you live on. Seriously, can you really call it a hobby if it's something you fail at every time you try it? <laughs> Are you talking about him conquering the planet or the long walks on the beach, Sonic? He means both. The doctor spends far too much time indoors. I do not! I get outside all the time. You guys stop ganging up on me. Anyway, thanks for the question, Tassin-Yang. When I take over this planet, unlike these three, you'll be on my good list. Hope I'm pronouncing this right. Lovey Dovey asks, Hey guys, hope you're all having a nice day. To Sonic, if you were to list everything you like about your little buddy Tails, what would it be? Aw, this one's about me? Well, let's see. Tails is awesome for a ton of reasons, but I'll list the big ones. He's always there for me when I need him. Sure. Just like that time you were sent in a capsule that exploded from the space colony arc, right? Oh, right, I did do that. Hey, no, I... And plus, he's always optimistic, he's a genius mechanic, and I know he always does the right thing. He once even saved all of Station Square from Eggman. <laughs> I mean, you know... I wasn't really trying, you know. So, anyway, those are just a few of the things about Tails that I think are great. You're the best, man. Oh, thanks, Sonic. I think I'm going to throw up. All right, here's one. At Blue Slash asks, who's the best driver between all of you? You can only choose one. Is that really a question? It's well known that I'm the best driver in this room. Oh, no, you aren't, Shadow. You may be fast, but I can outsmart you any day. Uh, didn't any of you guys watch Team Sonic Racing Overdrive? Tails and I clearly won because we work together. Yeah, it's all about the real superpower of team... I was winning. You were all slow and had to rely on that Team Ultimate to save you. You know, it's strange, but I really don't have much recollection of what happened after that race. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, probably for the best. Should we tell him? No way! Here's one. At Colors and Mayhem asks, what are some of your favorite snacks? Oh, wonderful timing! We've just arrived at today's Twitter Takeover sponsorship! Uh, here, Sonic, read this. Wait, do we really have Come to- Come on, just read it or I don't get my free mini-fridge! Uh, fine. 
This Twitter takeover is brought to you by Chaos Cola, the official cola of Chow Races and Chow Karate Worldwide. Crack open a relatively chilled Chaos Cola today. Personally, I like their mint juice drinks better. You're all such corporate sellouts. I say support indie drinks. There's nothing cooler than supporting the little guy. Gerard the Completionist asks, Hey guys, huge fan! All hail Shadow! Oh, and yeah, I like this guy already. Shadow, let me finish, please. <clears throat> what is your ideal chili dog? Does Eggman's have egg on top? Ah, plain dog, hot chili, and cheese. Easy answer. I mostly give my chili dogs to Sonic, but I think I get the same thing he does. First, bonus points for showing me the respect I deserve, Completionist. Second, I add peppers and even more cheese than Sonic, just to prove I'm better than him. Mine would have three eggs on top, all with little Eggman faces. Hey, Eggman, check this out. I was searching this dude and he's got a band called Big Bad Bosses with you in it. What? That can't be right. My musical career is kept remarkably secret. Oh, wow, there's a whole Eggman song and everything. If you'll excuse us, Gerard, we're about to watch this video and laugh profusely at Eggman. Thanks for the great question. Evil Antho asks, Hi guys, question for your glorious egg-shaped mad genie. You know what, I think we're just gonna throw this one out. Here. Hey, give me that. Let's see. They want to know if I secretly keep a chow garden in my evil lair. If so, would you please share your secrets to Chow Care? Eggman, you have a Chow Garden in your evil lair? What? <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't do that. Even if the evil ones are surprisingly cute and understand me on a psychological level far deeper than anyone else ever could. Doctor, last time I was at your lair, I could have sworn I saw little Chow toys all over the- No, 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 no! Those were- those were- th those were tails! What?! That is not true! Anyway, uh, thanks for the question, Evil, but I most definitely do not have a bunch of secret evil chow in my lair. <laughs> get the mic! Get the mic! At Slash Claws asks, Eggman, have you ever used your tech for a non-evil purpose? Good question! <laughs> but of course, Slash Claws, I did help save the planet from a falling space colony once. Yeah, but to be fair, you also kind of started all that. Okay, then how about, uh, I once used it to stop the Deadly Six from also destroying the world. Yeah, but that was using your creation, Eggman. You started that one, too. Okay, wow. You guys are just really being mean to me here. I'm not that evil! Don't trust anything the doctor says. Ever. That's my motto. I agree. I just can't win with you people! Thanks for the question, Slash Claws. Oh, I got a fun one here. Molly Source asks... Sorry if I said that wrong, huh? Sonic, what is the key to your positivity? What makes you so optimistic 24-7? Yes, please tell us so I can finally put into words what bothers me about you so much. Hey, Malia, great question. And uh, ignore Shadow. He's just grumpy because he hasn't had a question in a bit. So what is it that keeps you so positive all the time, Sonic? Easy. Part of it's my friends, like Tails and Knuckles, and part of it is knowing that no matter what, we can always overcome whatever life throws at us. Oh, how adorable. And remarkably cheesy. He's right, though. Everyone has bad days and rough times, but I think it always helps to know that even if they're rough, things are going to get better someday. Thanks for the question, Malia. You too, Malia. All right. At Gushers asks, yes, Hi, Sonic, sir. Well, oh, so formal. Why do people always send me this? Oh, and there's a picture here. It's a picture of you, Sonic. Oh, it looks like an old one. What is this, the Dreamcast days? It's a little picture of you saying, I like Gusher. Wait, I know what this is. Leave it to me, Ape Man. I've been waiting for this moment. Ahem. <clears throat> Silence, Brand. Whoa, guys, chill out. I like their Twitter. Thanks, Gushers. P.S. If you want to send us any free samples, my workshop's address is 101 Mystic Ruins Lane, Sweet- Tails, you're doing it again. Stop being a corporate sellout. Listen, Gushers, if you send any samples out, you send them straight to me. Thomas Capella asks, To everyone except Shadow because he already answered, what's your favorite anime? 
Oh, mine's a bit dark. You, you might not like it. It involves the ghouls and the like. Ha, mine's easy. Sonic X. Not that I'm biased or anything. How about you, Tails? I like the one with the kid who becomes a hero. One for all. Mine's still the one with the girl and the scissor blade. It's the greatest anime of all time, and none of you will ever change my mind. At Kimiko asks, Hey, Eggman, where do I sign up to join the Eggman Empire? Is there a paid internship program or something? Asking for a friend. Whoa, 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 Kimiko, let me stop you right there. You really don't want this internship, trust me. Hey, I could use an intern. I mean, I couldn't pay you in anything but gold rings, but... Would you two stop trying to poach my new hires? People wonder why HR can't find quality candidates, and now I realize it's you two! Kimiko, I don't pay my interns because it's the most evil thing I can do. But I'd be happy to have you join the Eggman Empire. Between us, I recommend going your own way. You don't need Eggman or Sonic and Tails. Trust only yourself. Exactly. Trust yourself to ignore Shadow and follow me. Welcome aboard. Hey, Eggman, what's that one? Let's see. Sonic Raikai asks, for your Spanish fans, could you four please sing the Macarena? Wait, you guys sang last time? I, I mean, yeah, a little bit. You have no proof I sang anything. Well, they soon will. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I like this one. Brandon Santiago asks, To Shadow, if you were the ultimate life form, how come you need your rocket shoes to run fast while Sonic doesn't? Hmm? Ooh, he's going right in with that one, isn't he? Yeah, Shadow. Why do you need rocket shoes to run fast? What a presumptuous question from this Brandon person. I'm not just fast because of my rocket shoes, Brandon. I'm the ultimate life form, and you would be wise to respect my power. Oh, he's actually getting a little angry. Do you think he's upset because it's maybe a little true? No, it's not true. Tails, you could come close to beating me if you tried, especially if... Guys, why is Shadow blowing red? Especially if I... Oh no, I've seen this before! Chaos... No, no. <laughs> Blast! <laughs> Dark Necro Dizzy asks, Hey Sonic, what do you do with all the golden rings you have collected over the years anyways? Yes, what do you do with those, Sonic? <laughs> he doesn't have that many. I normally knock them all out of him. Really? Good question, Necrodizzy. I save a lot of them, but I do spend a good amount on chow and power-ups, too. And I use some to fund my creations. I donate all my gold rings to those in need. Check out Global Giving, St. Jude, and Extra Life for some great places to send your gold rings, too. Shadow's a philanthropist? Who oh, no. knew? Thanks, Necro Dizzy. Lucky Paola asks, Dear Sonic, Tails, Shadow, and Dr. Eggman, what do you eat for breakfast? Oh, hey, they drew a little image here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, hey, it's me on the right there. Am I, am, am I flipping eggs or pancakes? It's gotta be eggs because you're Eggman, right? Well, sure, but I actually really love making waffles for breakfast. Am I, am I drinking tea or coffee? Do you drink a lot of coffee, Shadow? No, I just eat the beans straight. Didn't you listen to the last Twitter takeover? Tails, we've got little breakfast chili dogs, I think. And this is my new favorite art ever. Thanks, Lucky Paula. At Breco the Dark asks, Well, Eggman, would you sell TV products? What would be the first one that would occur to you? TV products? Hmm. Now well, that's easy. I've got so many wonderful products I've made over the years. All of them remarkably dangerous and definitely not safe for TV. Oh, no, that's not true, Tails. I built the Hedgehog Trapper 9000, which is only dangerous if you're the one being trapped. That one has saw blades! Purely decorative, don't worry. 
And I'm working on this neat design for a new Metal Sonic, where he's got rockets on both his hands and feet. Wait, whoa, this still sounds really dangerous. Oh, no, no, not, not for the people on TV, don't worry. Only dangerous for you, Sonic. Reko, I don't think we can legally allow Eggman to keep talking, so I'm going to cut the mic here. Thanks for your question. Oh, hey! The Sonic Stadium, oh, nice fan site name, guys, asks, many of our readers want to know, what is the secret to growing such a fine mustache? Wait, is that for all of us or just Eggman? <laughs> I've got this, don't, don't worry. Listen, the secret is quite simple. First, you need good product. I use a firming gel called Adam and Sven. Then, you use a comb and also carefully trim it to become impeccably stunning and handsome. I wonder what Eggman would look like if we shaved his mustache off. Oh no, trust me, you really don't want to see it. I agree, Tails. Maybe we should shave it off right now. Sh Shadow, no, 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 please, guys, listen. Jay, grab him, quick. No, 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 get away. At the Hasman Wyatt asks, what is your all-time favorite memory? Oh, I like this one. But for me, probably that time we all saved the planet together. Well, the one with the bio lizard, anyway. My favorite memory is meeting Sonic for the first time. And after that, uh, my adventure on Coco Island. My favorite memory was finally beating Sonic, even though it happens all the time. What about your Shadow? My favorite memory was being dead. Wow, okay, that got dark. Hyper Potions asks, what's your favorite Team Sonic racing track? Oh man, we have to pick one? But I love so many! Do they mean track or musical? Aren't these some of the people who worked on the game's soundtrack? Hey, I know these guys! Hyper Potions also made the trailer music for Sonic Mania! Well, to answer your question, Whale Lagoon for me. Personally, my favorite track is Final Fortress. Mine is Boo's House. I love watching Knuckles get scared of ghosts. Okay, then mine would be Sky Road. There you go, Hyper Potions. Oh, and special thanks to the other musicians who helped make the soundtrack so amazing, too. Yeah, like June Setaway and Crush 40. And T. Lopes. And Tyler Smith. He also made the theme of Infinite, which I enjoy very much. And Torian and the Chemists. Thanks for the question, Hyper Potions. At Smooth22 underscore Sonic asks, What's Shadow's favorite place to go shopping? Oh, it's gotta be that store with all that edgy clothing and goth stuff. Was it lukewarm topic? I bet it's the Halloween shop down the street. I saw him wearing a cape once. What? Those are both fine establishments, by the way. But I do my shopping at the local convenience store. It's called Maria's. Uh, wait, um, Maria was... Oh, well, sorry, I, I didn't mean to, you know. No, it's fine. As long as I can keep supporting some Maria out there in the world, I at least feel like I'm making it a better place. This question turned out to be quite the emotional roller coaster. Thanks, Move 22. At Menno asks, Hello, Shadow. What would your ultimate day look like? Dear Diary, today I brooded and brooded some more and then raised some chow. Hey, that's not bad, Tails. Quiet, Fox. My ultimate day would consist of a nice two handfuls of coffee beans in the morning, followed by a playthrough of the world's greatest video game. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric? No, Shadow the Hedgehog. Probably should have seen that one coming. Then I head outside to do mysterious things, like saving people in need at the last moment, or picking up cool dark clothing that I'll never wear. And then after that? Finally, I head home and put on a good movie, like Chow in Space 3, which features me. It's much better than Chow in Space 2. Yeah. Thanks for the question, Menno. Hey, wait, I'm not done yet. Barry Kramer, at Razadoop, asks, You guys are in the business of moving quickly. What's the best way to keep your shoes on? Laces, hook and loop fasteners, or, uh, other? Thanks. Good question, Barry. Personally, I'm all about the buckle. Had it since the classic days. Other, I don't really need a buckle. My shoes were specially designed and fit my feet perfectly, no matter how fast I'm going. I actually don't use one either, but I totally modified my shoes a bit, so they're a perfect fit too. I, um, uh, I don't do much running. A genius like me can conquer the world from the comfort of his own chair. Oh, thanks for the question, Barry. And hope your next project comes out amazing. 
At Jade Ultra asks, where do you guys see yourself in the future? Oh, that's easy. Sitting atop my mechanical throne, ruling the world. Also an easy answer, stopping Eggman from whatever plan he thinks he can pull off, <laughs> and spending some more time on Twitter when I can. I'd like to create more inventions that could support everyone. I'd like to open up a cat orphanage someday for all the stray cats of the world so they have a place to stay. Wait, Wait really? What? I have a soft spot for adorable little kittens. Don't judge me. So judged. At Gotta Post Fast asks, oh, I get that, that's a reference. Hey, Tails, you probably get this a lot, but what does the fox say? Oh, uh, hey, Sonic, are the lawyers gonna get angry if I sing the song and stuff? Yeah, probably. You just have to come up with something else real fast. What are you two whispering about? N nothing. Uh, the fox is, uh, um, I've gotta fly high. Wait, that's just your theme song from Sonic Adventure! So I can reach the highest of all the heavens! Nice save, bud. I'm very, very confused by all this. Thank you, gotta post fast. Next question. Ashley Chan 456 asks, I've got a question to ask all of you. Seeing that summer is nearly upon us, I've got to ask, what's your ideal summer vacation? Uh, for me, a nice, beautiful beach, a palm tree or two, an umbrella to block out the sun, a boombox to play some tunes, a motorized surfboard so I can splash water all over Sonic on accident, then go out of control and try to rescue a big owl guy. I almost feel like we've done this before. My ideal summer vacation is a trip to somewhere dark and spooky. I might invite Rouge or Omega to join me. Mine would be at my evil lair, surrounded by my own creations, watching as my minions conquer and capture all the little animals of the forest and turn them into more robots. Wait, can I change my answer? Instead, No, nope, we're out of time. Thanks, Ashley, and hope you have a great summer, too. Ahem. <clears throat> A A Y nine nine A O L nine A O L nine one nine. Owie ninety one asks, how many chili dogs could a hedgehog eat if a hedgehog could eat chili dogs? Let me get this straight. How many chili dogs could a hedgehog eat if a hedgehog could eat chili dogs? A hedgehog could eat all the chili dogs. Well, if a hedgehog could eat chili dogs, I think they're vegetarians. Leatris Blossom asks, so Shadow. Where was that fourth Chaos Emerald? Yeah, Shadow, did you ever find that thing? It's kind of a meme on the internet, you know. No, Tails. I never found that fourth Chaos Emerald. I tried searching for the Chaos Emerald many times, but I never found it. Wait, are you censoring yourself on purpose, Shadow? What? No. I just said exactly what I said in the game. You know, that fourth Chaos Emerald. Holy cow, he's being censored in real time! That is some pretty impressive tech, Sega. You may think you can stop me, Sega Twitter team, but if I said it in the game, I'll find a way to say it on Twitter. That fourth chaos emerald. Ah, fourth chaos emerald. Curse you, Sega. Sorry, Shadow, but this was the only way the ESRB would let us continue. Thanks for understanding. Elsie Fisher asks, why do you guys always wear gloves? What are you hiding? Oh, hands, mostly. Hey, Sonic, have you ever tried taking off your gloves? What? No, why would I? They're super comfy. I don't know, like, for science and stuff? Huh, well, all right. Let's see if I can... <laughs> huh, well, the thing is... <laughs> yeah, it's really stuck on there. Wait, Sonic. <sighs> My gloves won't come off either. The tails... What if I have, like, creepy blue hands under these? Uh, Would you both stop panicking? Elsie Fisher, thanks for your question. But we wear gloves because they're comfortable and cool. And there's absolutely nothing hidden underneath. Wait, wait. Can she... Can she see that I'm winking right now, or is that not going through? Rubber Ninja asks, On a downward incline, would Eggman's top speed while rolling surpass Sonic? Wait a minute. That's Ross. He's one of the grumpy guys, or whatever they call themselves. I was a grumpy guy before it was cool. The game grumps, Shadow. But this one's easy, so I'll answer it. There's absolutely no way I'd lose to Eggman at anything, especially a speed competition. Hold on, hold on. Let's think about this scientifically. 
From a momentum perspective, since I weigh more than you, I would almost certainly eventually- But your body is clearly not built for spin dashing, Doctor. I don't think you'd have nearly as smooth of a roll downward. No, 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 we can just do the math here. Let's say, on a downward incline, assuming Sonic begins with a spin dash- And, and also assuming Eggman has no bones to slow him down- Wait, what? Eggman would eventually pass Sonic after roughly 7.8 miles. Hold on a minute. What, what was that about no bones? Well, there you have it, Bross of the Grumpy Grumps. That's just science. And the Chaos Spirit asks, to all of you, what do you guys like to do to stay motivated when the going gets tough? Personally, I build more robots. It keeps my mind off things. And believe me, the going gets tough for me a lot. I like to think about new inventions, or go outside. I like to stay motivated by running, anywhere, any place. Oh, and by blowing up Eggman's robots. I look back on my past, dark, traumatic moments, and use those to shield myself from the impending challenges of the future. No matter what may come, I've surely faced far worse before. And there you go! Always so optimistic, Shadow. Michelle asks, Hi Sonic, have you ever considered dyeing your fur black and red to look cooler? Who is this girl? And why does she have such good taste in hedgehogs? I'm sorry, what? Dye my fur black and red? No thanks. That's a shadow thing right there. I'm good with blue. Wait a minute, you guys. I looked into this person's history and it says here she even gave a presentation about shadow. Wow. That's a lot of retweets, too. Ooh, someone's got an admirer. An exploration of Shadow the Hedgehog's true moral compass. And Knuckles. Impressive. Very impressive. Nice work, Michelle. Thanks for being one of my biggest fans. Blue quills are better. Sam's Procrastination Station asks, Hey, at Sonic underscore Hedgehog, do you mind finally explaining to the general audience why you're in a car in games like Team Sonic Racing? People still ask this question for some reason, so I think this is the perfect time to address it. Oh, that's an easy one. He's in a car in Team Sonic Racing because... Because if I was on foot, I'd win instantly. Exactly, Tails. Aw, I wanted to answer that one, Sonic. Hold on just a moment. If you were on foot, you'd still lose just as badly to me, Sonic. Hey, I can run too. Doesn't anyone remember Sonic R on the Saturn? The car makes things even, Sam. But let's be honest, even in Sonic R, I'm still the best racer, by far. Thanks for the question. At Snow Canine asks, if you guys could change one thing about yourselves, what would it be? A oh, good question. I'd like to be able to know exactly where the Chaos Emeralds were at any time. Would make stopping Eggman much easier. I'd like to be able to keep flying without ever getting tired. I'd get rid of that silly sense of mercy that keeps stopping me from ever finally defeating Sonic. It's just a weakness, really. I wouldn't change a thing. Our mistakes make us who we are, and I'm comfortable with my identity. I feel like Shadow's answers are either the most depressing or the most inspiring, depending on the question. Thanks, no canine! At LT Dork asks, Sonic has become pretty notorious for his terrible taste in puns. Are there any specific jokes you guys like? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, hang on. Terrible taste in puns? That's not entirely true. But what about the game, Sonic? It's definitely kind of true that- Yeah, but like, those are totally different writers. I've got a script to follow. Twitter takeovers are way easier because I can just be myself. I'd just like to add that I appreciate all of my writers, no matter the script. Please keep casting me as the villain. Suck up. Chris Gullion asks, Do ghosts and spirits of our deceased loved ones exist? Or are they merely mental projections constructed in our own minds as a coping mechanism, as knowing they still have some presence, albeit a merely ethereal one, gives some comfort? Don't worry, I got this one. Yes. At Cicada Lewis asks, can you all say happy birthday to my little brother Diego? He's seven years old today and he really likes you guys, especially Shadow. Aw, that's adorable. Yeah, we can do that. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to my little brother, brother Diego. Diego. He's seven, seven years, years old today and he really likes you guys, especially Shadow. To Diego, one of my ultimate fans, happy seventh birthday. Thanks for being a good brother, Cicada Lewis. At the Mind Manor asks, 
Dr. Eggman, how long did it take for you to come up with a plan of luring Sonic and company into a false sense of security by joining the Twitter takeover? Good question, Mind Manor. Well, let's see, how long's it been now? Approximately six hours. Surprise, Sonic! Oh, if you're talking about the traps you placed, I already disarmed all of those. What? And the robots you were trying to hide above us were all destroyed when I used Chaos Blast earlier. How? And we totally had Knuckles trash your lair while we were doing this. Actually, this was just a plan to get you away from your base, Eggman. Are you kidding me? No! This is not okay! Well, all's well that ends well. Let's keep the questions going. Katikaris asks, So hey, at Sonic underscore Hedgehog, why do you collect rings when an anagram of your name is coins? Uh, they're rings? Way bigger, way better, and you can throw them over your arm, too. Who would even collect coins, anyway? All sorts of people, Shadow. I mean, there are people on the street. Coin collectors, and that one plumber guy we ran into, you know. In my humble opinion, Katikaris, gold rings are way nicer than coins, and a much better investment, too. Ooh, listen to this one, guys. From at Lisa Mello. An innocent question for Sonic, if he doesn't mind. I have read in a book that it is confirmed by the Sonic team that Sonic has feelings for Amy, but he's too nervous to admit it. So is that true? Also, have this very quick doodle of Amy I made. Oh my. Is that true, Sonic? No, what, 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 they, Amy? Why are you guys asking me this all of a sudden? Hey, the fans just want to know. And you did say they could ask you anything. Well, listen, I don't really feel comfortable talking about that on Twitter right now. Are you afraid, Sonic? Are you running away from your feelings now, too? I just really don't want to. I'll be right back. Wow, he's not normally like that. Well, one thing's for sure now. The San Amy fans are gonna go nuts. Ego Raptor asks, Sonic, have you and Tails just straight up forgotten how evil Robotnik is? I find it very disturbing to see y'all pal around with this Joker. You know, it's a fair point that Eggman is pretty evil sometimes. And he has tried to ruin our lives on multiple occasions. And risked the lives of the entire planet. But he's more like a lovable kind of bad guy, you know? There's just something about him. Well, that, and he just shows up uninvited all the time. Dear Aaron Hansen, interesting question. I see you've chosen poorly when it comes to selecting your allies. I'll be in touch very soon. Dun, dun, dun. Whew, I had no idea there'd be so many questions coming our way. Oh, buckle up, Fox Boy. It's normal. I've done this for years, trust me. Don't worry. Eggman's just upset because we've got more questions than he did. Guys, there's even more questions still coming in, but I think time's up. Well, we've got to stop somewhere. Thank you all so much for sharing your questions with us today and for inviting me to join in. As always, a huge thank you to my adoring fan. And to the supporters of the world's greatest hedgehog. Aw, you shouldn't have Shadow. Oh, no, no. I meant me. Oh, well, that's typical. So what about all the people whose questions we didn't get to answer? We have to come back for a fifth takeover someday, right? Whoa, I mean, guys, we just finished the fourth. Yeah, and let's invite someone else next time too, like Rouge or Big or Amy, or maybe Cream. No, 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 uh, Tails, listen. From all of us in this cramped little room, please accept our appreciation for hanging out with us today. Yeah, thanks everyone. Thank you. Till next time. Chaos Control.